guys, this is Vanessa with an I. Yeah. With an I. It's weird. Kay? It's weird. It's not weird. It's, it's I think Vanessa Antoine from General Hospital and other Other things, things that people might know. And other things people might know. Or I, not know. Wow, that was totally... She has a very yeah. extensive Other resume. things that people you've might of, know. You've done a lot of uh, <laughs> Canadian shows. I've done some Canadian shows. Yeah. Some Canadian... And like a um, really popular one, too, yeah, that went a, for like five seasons, yes, right? Yes, yes. It became a weird little sort of cult following. Yeah. Of, it's called Being Erica. You can watch it on Netflix. But it was weird. It was because it was, I think it was, it connected with people because it was about a 30-something-year-old girl with a bunch of regrets. And she goes to see a shrink and just talks about how, you know, did I peak in high school? I should have done this. I should have done that. And then in some weird kind of way, some quantum leap kind of way, the camera pulls right or pushes right into the pupil of, pupil of her eye and pulls back, and she's actually back in the regret that she was talking about. So it's sort of quantum it's a great leap. Show. That's pretty cool. It's That's pretty a great cool. show. That's pretty cool. And so we got yeah. to go back to the 90s. And how so all fun. of her, f I was her best friend in today and then I got to be in Her high school in the and 90s. 90s so we got to play the old music and dress the same and, like it was just wacky listening to like you know old 90s like rock like listening to like the cranberries and shit it was just crazy yeah and like bare naked ladies and like TLC it was just crazy it was cool do you know who just texted me? Who? Will DeVry. Because I texted him to find, on my way here, I texted him. I was like, what's Stafford's oh. number? Because I'm going to do your podcast. Oh. And I didn't uh, I didn't have your e your address in my email. So weird. I know, because you emailed it to me. You're touching I'm my touching leg. your leg. That's so weird. Keep it up. Okay. Keep it up. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, you guys. Oh, we have, <laughs> it's not that podcast. We have Tovin and Sevier's here again this time. I am. As a married man, yo. Oh, did As you recently get married? Yeah, oh. yes. last weekend. Oh, I didn't know it was recent. It was mm -hmm. a, it was a week from yesterday, last mm -hmm. Friday. Congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. A married man. I am, I, but we have and we have been together nine for years? almost nine years. Oh, so yeah. you were pretty much married, right? Already. Yeah. I, I want to throw that in because right now, you know, she's in the stage of like, everywhere we go. We just got married. We just got married. Which it's kind of cool because we're getting free stuff here and there. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm into yeah. that. I'm right. into that aspect of it. But yeah. then sometimes I'm like, you're milking the cow a little too Just much. Just too much, yeah. A little too much. That's okay yeah, though. The cow. That's okay. The cow. Get the free stuff. People oh, are well, hopeful you know, she for gets you. Things and the reaction that we get. I'm kind of like, you know what? Screw Great, it you got a free meal. It's trying to balance, but let's do it. You're like, <laughs> we're reg we're still registered at yeah. <laughs> Neiman Marcus. <laughs> and are you guys registered? Uh, I have a year to get a gift. I'm yes. Here. Yes. Oh, okay. But, yeah, yes. Did you go to the but wedding? I'm yeah. not the person nice. to ask for things like oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we have Casey. Casey was the man today. Casey doesn't really want to talk, but Casey's doing the sound. It's usually Rob, but it's Casey this weekend. We're so excited to have you, Casey. Thank you for being the man. And we didn't have a recorder. Don't know where it went. <laughs> or do we? I have some theories. <laughs> I'm going to keep it to myself. Keep it to yourself. I don't think it's going to look good if I talk about my theories. You don't want to talk about people mm -hmm. doing Kay. bad things. Okay. Nope. So um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Casey uh, went to what, three different places to get a record. Three different places, yeah. See, I just pulled wow. that out of the air, but I felt it. And I rewarded him with a Shake Shack shake. <laughs> <laughs> and Tovin... We have, st is it stiff? Yeah. I'm so fucking, I'm so fucking old. That's the truth. So you know his mom. I know his mom. As like your bud. Oh no, I, I go way back with his mom. I haven't seen her in a few years, but oh my God, I'm just old. That's all. I'm just old and it's okay. But you know what? No, it's, okay. it's okay. You're, it's okay. It's okay. You're, you're still. See, because I consider Tova my bro. I consider we're but like he's more like a son. That's what you're saying. God, yes. He's like a he's like a young. He's like your. He could be all of these people. Steph, could you be my son? Jesus no, Christ, it's just that. so I sad. It's so sad when you finally so realize that it's happening. You know when it happened for me? <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, so I went to the club. <laughs> this is crazy that I would go to the club. 
But it was like my girlfriends were in town from Vancouver mm. and were, you know, just uh, doing the whole thing where we get in. I don't know. She finds some way to get in. We bypass the line. We are the hottest chicks in there as far of as you are. I'm concerned. Of course you are. The club is just banging. We're drunk, smoking. We're in the middle of the dance where I'm still up to date with all of the hot songs. I'm still talk. I'm still know all the words. I'm like, you know, Drake, the whole nine. This is what <laughs> this is all in my mind. OK, Drake, Drake Lil Wayne, nine. young, young somebody. And <laughs> I'm in it to win it. Mm -hmm. And I'm closing my eyes and oh, shit, they start playing the good shit. I'm talking Biggie Smalls. You know. Oh, I went all the way to the Gap Band. That's how old I <laughs> No, this was just like in the 90s when like oh, hip hop okay. yeah, was the 90s. really yeah, 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 yeah. So Old Jay-Z, old yeah, yeah, yeah. like Bad Tupac. Boy, Tupac. We were just, you know, in it. So my eyes are closed. This is in the middle of a dance floor with just massive amounts of people and just feeling it, feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. And I just opened my eyes just for a second just to make sure that I'm with my oh. friends and no one is on the dance floor but, you. but me and my old friends. We are now the old ladies that are like, oh. Nobody, but that's good I mean, stuff. I mean, it's, like, I mean it wasn't actually, nobody, but it definitely cleared out a bunch. Where people, this is like, they, you know. But they didn't even like the good shit. They didn't. This was the point where like the 20-year-old the or the 19-year-old that came in the club was like, oh, let's just, let's go to the bathroom and, you know, oh, do our go. selfies. Or <laughs> you're like, come with me to the bathroom. He's here. Or whatever they do when you're 20. But... <laughs> Oh my God! I thought this was gonna be the wig story. Remember the wig story? <laughs> I went out with Vanessa and some people from work and our producer. And I always love to, I always love to ask these questions like, "What's the most embarrassing moment of your life? What's the most embarrassing?" And I usually open to make others yeah, feel good. I usually open with mine, which is horrific. Okay, I open with mine. And then it makes people go, oh, well, mine's not that bad. Right. Right? Mine's so bad. And <laughs> I can't tell it. You have no, to tell it. Of course you can't. You <laughs> well, I just have one where there was this hot guy in New York, and he owned this club, right? Oh, God. I can't. I, I may cut this out. I okay. mean, this is, this just may be like, whoa. <laughs> oh, my um, God. And, and. And we go to his bar that he owned, right? And nobody was there. It was earlier. It was like five-ish. And the guy that I was with that I wasn't really interested in, right? Right? Um, went to the bathroom. and But the guy, his friend who owned the place was super hot. And I wasn't going to be an asshole like I was going to leave this guy for that. But it was he was just super hot, right? Right, right. And... Um, so I'm talking to him, and he's behind the bar, and there's um, a game going on, and and you know, <laughs> my whole thing. Wait, <laughs> he says something really funny. I laugh really hard. Oh god! And, and a booger flies, flies, <laughs> catapults, projectile out of my nose, and Ooh. lands right, right between us. And you both notice, or just you? <laughs> There's no way you can miss it. There's no way you can miss it. Oh, fuck. And I looked, at, I see it, and it's a booger. Is this going to make the podcast? Uh, <laughs> Probably not. He said, right, that was a hard, like, not even. Yo, yo, right out of the gate. This story right out of the gate. Yo, right in between us. And I remember I saw oh, it, and I just, God. like, was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. And I just kept on looking up at the game. And he's looking at the game, too. And we're both not acknowledging what happened, which is probably the right thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the it's the manners thing. It's to the do. manners thing. So is there but there was <laughs> nothing that he walked away and he's like, yeah. And he walked away. No, he saw it. You couldn't. It flew out of my nose. It flew oh, out of my nose. God. And oh, like, God. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, God. And landed right between us. Those moments keep you real. Yep. Those what moments could he say, keep though? you. What could he say at that moment? I mean, like, he could. Uh, you can't. You, you can't. can't. I couldn't acknowledge that it happened. I couldn't even take it and go. Yeah. Right. Or a little I mean, napkin. The only way you, know? you actually acknowledge <laughs> something like that is if it lands on their lip or something oh, like God. that. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Or their shirt. <gasps> 
If it lands on the table and the guy, if he has manners, he'll just, he'll just ignore it, pretend it didn't happen, or find a way to exit so then she can clean it up or something. <laughs> but if it land, if it lands on the other person, I think you've got to be see uh, this a similar thing. <laughs> Horrific. Happened. Horrific. Now I'm thinking. Now this is. I'm not going to tell the other. No, one. no, I'm you gonna, don't have to. You don't have I'm to. Tell I'll about... just embarrass myself. It's no, all no, good. No. It's my own show. I can embarrass myself. No, no. This... I'm killing my career every single time I do. This. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, you're not actually. You're making it. So I'm making it better. Amazing. Yes. But that story just gained me popularity. Absolutely. I, think it did. I got a hundred so. more. I, I got a hundred more. Yep. The more clicks. <laughs> clicks. It's about the clicks. Click, Subscribe. Click. Subscribe below and don't forget to like. <laughs> Cringing. Don't, don't forget to like me. Like me, like, <laughs> like me. Like me, like me. So so Wait, we, you we, have a booger story? No, it's not a booger, but okay. it reminded me because I was on a date. Yeah. And again, this was the nineties, so um I had um those little micro Tupac. braids. It was Tupac. Oh, no. yeah. This I had the micro mm. braids, the skinny little mm-hmm, braids, mm-hmm. like the Janet Jackson, you know. They were long. I thought I was the shit. Yeah, of course. And, I'm sure you were you though. Know, and and every once in a while though, at home, I would find that I would see just like a little braid that has slipped out oh. because they slip out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I'd be walking be like, oh my God, my braid's on the floor. <laughs> Put that in the garbage. We're at a nice restaurant now. Yeah. And I'm just <laughs> chatting away with him. With your man. Yeah, this guy in the state. Yeah, this the is day. New York. And I just look down and I see my braid on the floor. Just one, just one it's braid, okay. and it's, it's like okay. it's not, but it's vi- it's it's not like it's just on, on my side. It's very, very like he's going to see it at some point if he hasn't already. And you know, I just, you know, it's like so obvious that your hair's not yours. That's one, but two, is it though? Isn't it though? Like if your braid is on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it's on the floor, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, if it's, it's on the that's floor like right away. Like okay, for sure she's wearing extensions. And then two, it's like you didn't have the money to get them properly. <laughs> but <laughs> they're you know, so ghetto that they're on the floor. <laughs> but of course, dudes don't think they don't like think that. that. No, dudes are never your safe because he's never gonna think that. At that's all. a girl thing. Well, I overdid it. Basically, with him by did laughing. you acknowledge it? No, I like I, that. Oh, I made no. it. I made it seem as though he was so so funny because I couldn't think of a way to bend down. Oh. so it was so funny yes, that it I was had the to an- just grab oh it. Oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> yeah, and I tucked it in he my never pocket. Knew. He in never my knew. He never knew. Like no, no, some real like. Yeah, CSI, no, that's like, good. Yeah, but yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was over the top. Couldn't breathe laughing. That's what causes me to go down. No, he and, felt good. Yeah. That's a that was you good. Think so? Oh my god, it was great. Okay, he never knew. He never, never knew. knew. Never he knew. never knew. So ever we never it wasn't. There was Can no you? date number two. There wasn't. No, no, but not because of that. No, not because of that. It's because I didn't sleep with him. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah. There would have been. Is no, it no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm saying. Is it wrong? I'm saying. Wait, uh, that's not why. That's not no? why. No? He showed. Because yeah. not sleeping with them, they come They, they come back. They come back? Yeah. Okay. You know, Wait. that's the, the that's what we do as chicks. Wait, so. Uh, what? They didn't Clarify that. Sleep with him, and so he did not come back. Yeah, the, the <laughs> night end. Oh. The, the, you were asking if, if I slept. She's him. saying he didn't. They didn't go out again yeah. because she didn't sleep with him. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah. it, and, and I'm saying no. The opposite. The opposite. Is, yeah, he'll th- go out with you again because he wants it. I think maybe he just was not feeling me. He was just wasn't into me. That's no, no. The you know what I think it was? <laughs> I think that I'm going to tell you, and okay. this is going to free you. Okay, please. Okay, you already had that thing with the braid going on, right. and you were tripping, all yeah. right? You were like, whoa, the braid. Did he see the braid? Did he see the braid? You weren't really being yourself. Right, right. Because you had that thing going on with the braid. Even when you picked it up, even after you're like, did he see it? Did he see it? You had something else going on, and yeah. I think that while you were out, he was like, what's going what on with this? this? I wasn't yeah, being I don't, my authentic You weren't being self. your authentic self. Yes. You weren't yes. being organic who you were. True. You were tripping on the braid. Totally. And that's what it was. Yep. All the all these years, you thought that he it's, wasn't feeling you, he wasn't feeling or me. that you didn't give him the tang in but, the beginning. And then the car, though, he showed me his penis. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and then there's that. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, well, <laughs> I have to go. 
<laughs> he just showed it to you like, yes. Would you like this? He was he was a gentleman all the way. Isn't and that I was weird. That's, that's why there was never a second date. He was showing you the goods. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. That's why. Yeah. 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 But he was, it was the conversation. Oh, he's weird, you it know. Was, it was good, yeah. you know what I mean? He came from a good family. It was, I thought it was going to be oh, good. Oh, on paper he was good, but he wasn't good. <laughs> How do you get in the car? Okay, great. That was a great I'd like day. to show you my, uh, excuse me, I'd like to show you my penis. Right. He was like, do you, but because he, he kept saying, well, do you want to see it? And I was like, because he, he said, you know, I'm, oh, I'm I was really proud of his proud penis. Proud of it. And I was, oh. I was like, I'm sure. I'm something. sure it is. A penis is a penis is a penis. Okay, yo. This I is mean, a first come date on. thing? This it's, is a first it's date. It's who has the penis, by the way. Okay. Okay. What? What? Sorry, what? <laughs> I'm just like a penis is a penis is a penis. It's who has the penis. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying it doesn't matter the size of the penis. A penis is a penis is a penis. Well, listen. Um. <laughs> God, I. I feel I, like. Listen, I've I. This may be cut out. <laughs> Guys. Sorry. Cooking for Little Men. Cooking for Little dot Men. Com. Dot com. Tell us how this came to be. Okay. So, be, do you want the long story? No, not yeah, the, not be, the yeah, I not want not your. Yeah, I just want your story. So, uh, it basically started because uh, I'm a single mom. I'm a food lover. I'm, uh, I'm an actress. Um, and I'm, I've got two boys. I've got two boys. Wrong boys. One of who's fourteen mm. and one is ten. Mm, I knew. Yeah. Yeah. Gave you the right take. And um, and one of them is named Lestat. 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 I know one of our sons is Lestat. Isn't I know that people great? are always Lestat. like, "You named your child after a vampire." I'm like, Lestat. "Well, no. I mean, if I named him Lestat. Jason, would he be the killer?" <laughs> That's right. He's just a character. Or, in a book. or who's the other guy, William? And or Michael? Yeah. Like, yeah. Do, you know, um, no. It's just, but he is a very strong character. Lestat That's a fantastic book. name. It's Thank a great you. name. Really yeah, great. very smart. Um, and then my other son is Basquiat, like the artist. Bas. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold <laughs> Sevier. on. Okay, Sevier yeah. is speaking now. My favorite artist. Yeah, that is officially my favorite artist. Wow. Ah, <laughs> that is. I just feel cheated. It's something just I cannot believe. Why? Like, because she took your names like, for kids. I mean, this is too. Very significant names, at least yeah. for me anyway, because I'm, yeah. I'm a huge vampire lover. Yeah. So it's like, really? Sometimes. And then as an artist, I love Basquiat, and so it's just like, wow. Sometimes they love their names, and then sometimes they just they just change it. Like the other day, I told Lestat to order himself a pizza at Domino's, and I just hear him in the room. His voice has now dropped. Now he's like a oh. man voice. Yeah. So crazy. And he was. they were like, you know, he said what he wanted, and then all of a sudden I heard, Trayvon, or whatever the name Trayvon. that he, or he just like changed That's his name at the last minute, and I was like, why did you tell them it was Lista? And he was just like, because they always ask me like two or three times, and same with Basquiat. Oh yeah, for sure. Basquiat will change his name to just B. Like, oh, what's your name, B? And I'm like, well, tell people your full name, and then they'll be like, I'm sorry, what is that, Basquiat? Some people don't that know who right, the artist right. is, and it gets annoying, yeah. so. If okay. your kids are in the room, get them out. Right. Um, well, a long time ago. Boogers. So <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, the with the Santa, I wasn't wrapping them because that's too much. And then Natalia t it tells me this year, I want Santa to wrap my gifts. I'm like, oh, I'll ask, I'll ask him. Right, right. <laughs> Natalia. <laughs> We'll enjoy this. Anyway. Enjoy this part yeah. because it does get to a point where they're just like, like they're the like, stats, like, like they know there's no Santa. They're just I like, know. yeah, they're like, just give me the money and cut to the chase. Like, oh, it's just like, uh, <laughs> God. It's like, yeah, there's no. Oh, no. They just want yeah, what they want. Yeah, and I yeah. also don't want to do the whole thing. You know, when you're when you're by yourself. <laughs> When you're doing all of this the yeah. night before, it's it's it's, it's exhausting. exhausting. When you're by yourself, when you're by thank yourself, you, a single mom. See, that's the that's deal. That's the difference. Yeah, that's the I, difference. No one's helping there's, me put shit together. No, there's no guy uh, dressing yeah. up in a Santa costume. Well, definitely. You know what I mean? And helping. Well, that's out. really great. That would be cool. Yeah, but like I'm doing the like sneaking oh, we're into both, the yes. garage, like. Fuck, like it's cold. <laughs> like I'm cold. What, what, are the, what are the times that you get like? Um, really bitter about being single uh, yeah are there times like that's one time yeah taking out the trash that's probably another time right? definitely what, are, um, what other times um goodness 
Okay. Oh, this had just happened yesterday. We have an apartment that has very high ceilings. Oh, nice. Um, and it's it's okay, but not so good when you're by yourself painting. Okay. Okay. So we, I did that part. But what I'm talking about now is just when you're having a conversation or you're sleeping in your bed or you're just relaxing and somewhere in the apartment you just hear beep. Oh. Beep. Mm. Oh, that. The smoke detector. Yeah. I don't know where the thing's coming from because I think it's in my room. It's not. I'm going to different rooms and so i finally get it it's so high i stand up on the ladder trying to you know beep. Get, and you can't. can't the lights going it's in the middle of the night ridiculous i hate everyone at this point yeah, and you're like why do i have why, why do i not why, have a man why do i not have a man just to help just a little you, bit yeah you would have been baby this so fire alarm you would have been like don't worry yourself right don't worry yourself baby like we right <laughs> That's Don't worry yourself, baby. I got it. I'll, I, got I got it. it. No, I got it. I got it. And that's all you go right back to go sleep. Go back to sleep. So, but I did go back to sleep. The problem is, is I go back to sleep with, boom, beep. And just in the bed, just by yourself and my dog. And I'm just like, fuck everyone. <laughs> fuck everyone. And the kids are like, mom. I'm like, can't reach it. Don't know <laughs> how to do it. So, could you could you get a broom? I, to swim? I, I but then I, I was I was it. gonna smash it. Yeah. that was the only yeah. option. I was yeah. I was like I'm so close to smashing it, but I don't own. I'm renting, mm. <laughs> and I would do something crazy. You know, I just lose my goo. So that's one of my sayings. I right. I say lose my goo. Yeah, I like and that's it's, good. It's on yeah. my it's on cooking for little men. Just lose my goo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, bring it back. Yes. So yeah, so I'm finding myself cooking all the time. Yeah, and 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 I'm not cooking every single day because I have to actually live and function. We have jobs and lines yeah. to learn and people to yeah. you know take schlep all over town. But there are days where I feel like I uh, am inspired to cook and I love cooking because they eat everything. They They're eat just everything. Constantly eating. Yeah. So uh, it kind of started. But isn't like, that how this came to be? Because they eat everything. They eat everything. Right? Yeah. And like uh, quite honestly, it came to be because uh, I, I, as you know, I'm doing this alone. When my marriage split and he left, um, and this is also on the there's more in depth on the on the blog about all of that. But yeah, I, I woke up and I knew that he had left and he was supposed to come back after a couple of weeks to do the co-parenting thing, um, and he never returned. But in my gut, I kind of knew that he he wasn't going to return, and so. It was the morning, and Lestat was up already, and Basquiat kind of climbed into my bed. He was really young, and then Lestat kind of climbed in, and we just sort of, like, you know, sat there in this silence, and literally the only thing that I could think of was, like, do you guys want pancakes or waffles? And I just started from there. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That really is great. That's great. It's so profound. No, it's so profound. That's why I'm crying because it really is. It's profound. Because <laughs> you're going to get me started. This has been fucking wretching writing this blog, but it's been good. I bet it has. Because it's a lot it's of stuff so that I do. It's, it's, it's just there's a silence and a taboo that happens when you are a parent period but then when you're a, a mom there's a sort of silence you're not allowed to say the bad things or how you feel then when you're a single mom people are like wow it must be really tough when you're a single mom doing it by yourself 100 percent you are in a special little vip club mm. <laughs> yeah you, <laughs> you are. know you pay extra to get into that mm -hmm. club mm -hmm. um or it's the back of the club mm. where you think mm. that you're paying extra to go into the VIP of like the really, really single moms. <laughs> and then when you get in there, you realize it's just a room. It's just a room and it's just you. And everybody that's paid to get into that club is also in this room. It's a glass room. So everybody on the outside is like, you're a single mom, you're a super <laughs> oh mom. Hi, waving, and you're like, amazing. Meanwhile, you're in there screaming in an airtight bubble because, like, it's just you. But everybody on the outside's like, hi, you're doing great. And you're like, I'm not waving. I'm needing help. <laughs> I'm needing help with something. Wow. Something. 
Wow. So that's kind of what this is about. It's just oh me actually God. talking about God. the silence of it. And don't get me wrong. I love being a mother. I love being, Nobody, you know. Nobody, absolutely, yada, yada. Yes. Totally. But there is something about really doing this on your own mm. without any mm. financial help, any real help. And mm. like the co-parenting thing, I always laugh with, you know, when single moms who have like, well, he gets them on Wednesdays and every other Saturday and it's his day to pick them up and his year to da da da. I'm like, I don't get a fucking year or mm-hmm. a day yeah. or, you know. Yeah. So that was probably the best analogy I've ever heard. That fucking classroom. A hundred percent. That was 100%. that was the most profound. That was the best analogy. Because yeah. you feel like you're doing. Because you get a lot of pats on the back, of, right? Like, you're a well, I'm so impressed. Yeah. So how do you do it all? Yeah. And I'm like, I still don't know. Like I literally don't. Know, yeah. don't I'm winging it. I'm just fucking playing jazz. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm literally playing jazz. Yeah. So everybody's like, you're a superhero. I'm like, I don't have supernatural powers at all mm. the last time I checked. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm like you. I'm doing what you're doing, like going to work, cleaning, driving, cooking, blah, 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 without the dad. That's all it is. Yeah. I'm doing everything that you're doing, all that stuff that you're feeling without the dad. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a something that I didn't expect and the thing that really oh, whoa I got to me was was there's there's um there's a uh, a a a mental stress with being single and that was the thing that got to me the most mm-hmm. was that oh whoa like she when she's tripping out yeah you know there's, I got no one, to, no there's one to go. No can one to you take it. this? No. Can you take this? I gotta leave. Yeah. There's no one to bounce it off of. Yeah. So, so then you're, then it kind of starts a, it could potentially and has for me started a little tiny cycle of maybe like a slight insane, like really insane because yeah. you're like insane, insane where you're like, um, Am I am I making the right decision here? Well, uh, who can I call? Well, there's no one to call. I'll probably make the right decision. Like, there's nobody to like just pass it off to. Like, where they're like, actually, no, that is a good. You should reprimand her for this because of blah blah blah. You're just like, right. I don't know. Did I make the right decision? She's fucking freaking out over there. I'm just yeah. me, you know. Right. And if, if that continues, <laughs> without taking a breath or a girlfriend to take you out and chat and laugh about it or just be like, oh shit, it is real. I'm going through it too. Yeah. It's, I'm not by myself. I, I find really you're probably the only one who gets it though in my life because well, you... I'm doing it. Oh, we have very similar yet different. Like Yes, yeah, similar yet different. By choice. Yes. Totally not by choice. Yes. It's what this show is. Yes. Single mom, a go-go because yeah. you are... You are both. I mean, the Ogogo part was was just like, hey, yo, it's fun, and right. it is a go, or like the crazy, but you are what the show is. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Wow. Well, um, I think that there's a lot of people who, who are what the show is then, because- So many. And you know what? And a lot of times, and I let women originate this, uh, but they'll be like, hey, I'm doing it all alone, because I guess their husband is never around or isn't right. there emotionally. Right. And so they feel like they're single moms too, which yeah. is valid. I, I could see where that would be really hard, because the guy's supposed to contribute, sure. but he's not. Like right. you, yes. I'm That's sure you have that. Thing. Like, That's what it is. whoa, you're supposed to contribute, and you're not. Yeah. Like, I don't- I don't feel that. Yeah. I don't feel like, although if one dude came in and said, hey, I want to be a dad to your kids, I'd be like, divvy up because my <laughs> kids are really expensive. <laughs> okay, I'd be like, write, write me a check for for a couple hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> at, least, at least. At least. At least. We haven't even talked about the, you know, yeah. preschool. The, oh, no, the, we haven't even talked about the expenses. The it's all on you. Yeah. And aren't we lucky that we're working actors? Thank, Thank God. God. Thank and I God. think that's a big part of why we are work because it's like, we we have a level of necessity that we it's like we have to sure but there was a t- you've been working consistently a lot longer than I have there was a certain you know this th- I put this uh, uh, story in the blog just yesterday or when I launched it it was there was for sure times where I was l- literally in, in the negatives like yeah. t- no two cents like, like what am I gonna do that's a- so scary no money. Yeah. You know, just hoping, like, is there a, re- a residual check in the mail mm-hmm. <laughs> from, like, an old, you know, nothing. These are all, I made this last night. I'm going in. These are some of Vanessa's recipes. This. And let me tell you something. I, I don't up. care. It's all right. Okay. Um, uh, 
I made this bunt cake and I just wanted to show the bunt cake that I made that I clearly took out of the bunt pan too early. No, it looks great. Oh, I'm going no, no. I'm no. Going well, it's good. It just, it, it, oh. um, it separated because I took it out too oh, early. Oh, I'm, I'm not looking at the shape. I'm just looking oh, at the Oh, yeah. It, it was supposed to be, yeah, the, the consistency color and color. Yeah. Um, but sure. that's not, but, um, uh, this is the pumpkin smoothie. Spice smoothie, yeah. Oh, God, it's really good. It's pureed pumpkin, frozen banana, any kind of milk that you like. I love a good nut milk. Um, well, I have almond milk. That's what yeah, I use. Or cashew milk, whatever, that, m- coconut milk. Um, and then, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, maple syrup. Yep. And and then you blend it up and whiz it up. I it's like it. so easy. And ice, and ice. Oh, that's great. It's okay, so good. easy okay. and so easy to, to do. What I'm here, I'm getting the food for the, the boys. Okay. Um, so this is nice the couscous it. salad. The couscous. This was so easy. And I don't like the sous chef part of anything. And I was even okay with this. It, it is. It, there's a the couple chopping. of steps of the chopping. There's a couple steps of the there's but some it's chopping. Worth, but there's, it's worth it because it does hold up really good. I it feel does. Like. Yeah, you can bring this to a party. You can bring, it just sits in the fridge. I feel like it's better yeah. the next day. Yeah. And I was really nervous that it was going to get soggy. No. Because I made it last night. No, no. It and actually is better than Yeah. Day. It's great because I think that oil um, soaks into the couscous. I'm so excited that you made this. This is I know. So, it was I my was like, pleasure. You don't have to make this. It was my pleasure. Oh I my was God. like, I got to make the food. We got to have the food. Yay. And then this, I think that pesto is like, it's one of those things. Here you go, Casey. Um, and here you go, Tovan. It should be warm. <laughs> it was. Well, That's that okay. should be warm. But, um, Pesto, this is the pesto, just pesto, and yeah, I put it on basically. linguine. Yeah. Um, first of all, this recipe that you, it's it's so easy, it's, it's almost easy. like, it's almost like cheating, because people are very impressed when you make a fresh pesto, I too. know, and the thing is, it's, I always find it very interesting when people. Boys. <laughs> are you loving it? Do you, you, don't, you don't have to. Yes. Have to <laughs> Of course they love it. Are you kidding? <laughs> of course they do. I always feel I like I'm cheating. I think I just cheating. even burped into the mic. Oh, that's nice. I always feel like I'm cheating when I buy things like that are so easy to make, like Lower pesto. Bar. Oh, it's no. It's so easy to make it. It's, it's so easy. It's like, you know, of course. It wasn't even expensive either, expensive. getting the ingredients. You, you know, I always have basil because I was, you know, and I always have garlic and olive oil and, you know, Parmesan cheese. You always put mm-hmm. on everything with the kids. They're like, Parmesan everything. The only thing you need to get that you might not have around are the pine, pine nuts. nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But but if you make it, I make a bunch of it, like a ton, and then oh, you it's freeze incredible. it. You can freeze it, you can and then you can it. add it on. Anyway, like, I add it on pizza. I add it on grilled chicken. I yeah. add it on grilled veggies, sandwiches. In sandwiches. You know, it just, you can. I wish my daughter loved it. It, it. it may take some time. Yeah, she's going to uh, acquire a son. I only for made it. this, be- I put this in there because my son. Uh, basket. He's a, he he gets this more than marinara. Mm. Mm-hmm. I just, love that. Yeah. <laughs> the one with the artist name. Yes. Yeah, of course. The one with the artist name. Of course. Life's a pesto. Yeah. Um. These are incre- aren't they incredible? It's delicious. It's amazing, it. right? Thank you. It's amazing. Eating. They're all nodding. Yes, because yeah. they're eating. <laughs> they're eating. I can't really. No. And that's what I like about your recipes. Even that lasagna one, I was like, ooh, because the lasagna. No, but it was, I know. It was amazing. It's my favorite. It's amazing. Her recipes are on point. They're incredible. Oh, my God. No, they're incredible. They're really easy. Very easy to do. But I think that you made it purposely because it's cooking for little men. It's cooking for little men. And Um, it's not. We don't have that time. I don't want it to be like, well, this is a single mom's blog, so everybody else fuck off. And that's not it. It's anybody that (laughs) is busy and needs some cooking going on in their life every once in a while. I'm not saying that I'm in the kitchen all day long because, like I said, Ooh. we have jobs to do. We, we have are, things to do. But every once but in a while... people in the world who... What woman with kids... What woman can just be in the in the kitchen all, all day? All the day. All the time. No. No. You know, everybody's working. Everybody's working. Everybody's doing stuff. So I've got some good slow cooker recipes coming. Mm-hmm. Those are super easy. You just chuck it in. And leave, and then you come home, and there's dinner, and Amazing. I love that. Like, and you can do that with like really great 
you know, cheaper cuts of meat. And for me, that's imp- it's important. Why you know? cheaper cuts? Because you can have the good cuts. You can have the good cuts, but the cheaper cuts, they hold up better over long periods of time. Mm. So, you know, you have those, you can make these stews or these, these, these chicken, like chicken thighs, for instance, hold up really good with the bone in it. And then it tastes better to me. I think. Oh. So you can spend less and just and have it better. Have it better. And that's just my thing. So I think I have a really good game so we can eat while we play the game. I'm down. All right. A really great game. Really great game. All right. So it's called What Does This Text Mean? Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. What, is, what does this text mean? And this would be from the viewpoint of you texting someone, mm-hmm. a man, right. and his response back. Okay. Okay. So, oh boy. <laughs> you write, you write, hey, babe, um, the boys just got home and I have to make dinner and help Lestat with his math homework. Uh, can we just meet tomorrow? And, all right. And he responds, yeah, no problem. What does that mean? That means that he never wanted to meet in the first place. Oh. And no, I ref- let me rephrase that. He had secondary plans that just came up. And he thought, fuck, I've got to meet Vanessa with her kids or go meet Vanessa for a date. And now that she can't do it because her son has homework, I can now go do those things. So it's perfect timing. Like, yeah, no prop. Because if it was more... If it was more like, oh, wow, he needs help, or, oh, what's going on with him, or, oh, we could just meet another, just a little extra something, but just the yeah, no prob means like, yes, out of there. Whoa. I took it like, <laughs> yeah, no problem, like he was pissed off. Oh. That's really? Where I went. Oh. You know, oh. you know. There's a caveat here. Okay, go, go. There's a caveat. That's right. How far, how far into the relationship are you? Mm. Um, um, yeah, that, that's, that's good. A couple months. That was a couple good. months. That was good. <laughs> Tobin went, came months. in there and saved the day real quick. A couple months into the relationship. For men. For men. Well, for yeah, men, for just sure. from jumping off the cliff there for a second, <laughs> then, crying out loud. If it's just a couple of months, <laughs> if it's just a couple of months, that's him deciding. I don't know about the chick with the girl. Oh with my the, God, with the, yes. yes. Do you with, know? With, with, with the kids yet. That's, I'll just. And I'll this weigh this out. Yep, no prob. I know that the yeah. kids come first, so yep. let me I just. Have yep. To okay. Say. He says no. No. Listen, I have to say this is a perfect example <laughs> to me <laughs> on what happens with women and in their mind. With women Over and men. Over a text, as a busy man yeah. and around a lot of busy men, married and with kids mm-hmm. as well, like my best friend Jacob and one of you know one of my best friends. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's literally like, okay, cool, no problem. Like. There's honestly, of course, there's nothing I know. to it. You're right, you know, yeah. I think, but you're right. You know, Paige makes fun of me sometimes because she's like, you sometimes really don't think about anything. And it's like, no, yeah. no. One, I'll give you an example. One time I would hang out with, with my, my friend Conroe, right? We would go out and hang out and we'd hang out late. And she said, what do you guys do so late? What's going on? And I said, come over. And it was like literally like midnight. Like come over playing video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, she's like, there is that. And she was like, "Is this all you guys?" Is like, "Yeah." So what? Do you, I'm like, "There's times we don't even talk to each other." I've noticed that, especially yeah, with with my my older with my older son. Your now that he's like join like he's joining into the force of manhood, and I think this is how crazy we are. So I'm thinking that he's thinking of all of these things, making up stories in my head about what's really truly going on, whether we had some. Quarrel like a, mu- a, a month ago or, or five minutes ago, and I'll sit there and I'll be like, "Are you okay? Like, what? Why are you? Qu- why are you so quiet? Are you? What are you thinking about?" And he's like, "Cheeseburgers." Thinking about a sandwich that I ate with my friends, and I had this crazy burp that tasted like the ham. <laughs> like, exactly. And I'm like, "That's crazy." <laughs> like in my mind, I'm yeah. thinking. You know, he's in deep thought, like thinking about like what a crappy mom I am or something or like what never, a crappy life. Yeah. Ever. You know, it's the guilt. He'd never be thinking. Yeah, yeah, it's a guilt. Never. A constant. Never. But or just but like just something yeah. more in depth, like because he just looks so just quiet and just pensive. And and I'm like, yeah, the burp, and it tasted like the ham. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, you know. it, that's true. I mean, yeah. I even see it in my one year old son. <laughs> yeah, I see these things. 
We have a surprise guest who just walked in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm like, what are you thinking about, James? <laughs> <laughs> see, you? do you see this flesh wound? That's from my son oh. from last night. They're coming, honey. <laughs> They're coming. Oh, don't God, you. He's out of control. Don't out of control. Worry. All right. Um, okay. So a man that you just had dinner with for the first time after dinner, at, when you get home, you get a text from him, which is a red heart. What does that mean? Well, you and the red hearts. <laughs> you just had dinner with him. Just had dinner? You just, you just had a dinner and he sent you a red heart. Was the dinner... You weren't good. talking about love at all. It was okay, just normal. Okay, but were you feeling a little, the little quick band trip? Yeah, yeah. You were yeah. good. You were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good... It was, it yes, was good. yes. And he texts you a red heart. Uh, and then I... I, I and I, I've, I've, I've had that text, by the way. I have too. So episode five of the Stafford Project is about. <laughs> and um, I feel really good about that text when that comes in. And I, I think that it's him saying, I'm liking our vibe. And I love what we what we had. And let's do some more. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. I cannot oh, agree. No, so he no. doesn't not mean that. It doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't mean that he... Does it mean that oh he's, a God, mind so like, mean he's a mind fucker? Like mind fucker. Because I mean, when you send mean, hearts to women, yo, heart? let me just tell you, when you send hearts to women, you better ha- take responsibility for that. Yeah. Because we go, oh, well, yeah, yes, okay, yeah. But listen, I think that's not to you, Tovin. That was to the camera. I guess I just happen to understand. I. What does the heart I, mean on the first day? Yes. Cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. Okay. Cuckoo. The first dinner, first date, you're gonna send. A heart, like I'm one. Be, even if you I'm had between a between you guys. No, if you you didn't think he was nuts. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. serial killer. <laughs> I'm thinking. Yeah, Wait, know, even no. if you no. didn't think body he bags. was nuts. This is what this is what this is what my problem is. It's been. not your problem. No, you don't have seeing, any. Pro- you don't have any problem. I've had You're one hundred percent amazing. I've had my fair share of serial we killers all have. and crazy <laughs> cars. Hold on, for the record, Michelle, that we there's no we all. We all have had. We all did serial killers. <laughs> Vanessa? <laughs> no, listen, I think, you, Michelle, you're right. I think it's, a, it's in, in, in the middle. I'm in between you, In the middle. I think it's in between. I'm in between. I do, I do. Yeah, like, I think that if it was just normal date and he sends you a heart, yo, I would react adversely to that. I'd be would. like, if it, it was, was just a normal, a normal date, date yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah, huh? no, for sure. Huh? For Maybe sure. Maybe I misunderstood. And, but if it was like we were really getting on and we talked about, I think that that it doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter. my phone. Oh, it's your phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I think that I I would think more of it if it was really great and and yes. banter and fun and I felt feelings. Yeah, the feelings. If it were... ended with that, if you were having a yeah. great dinner, great first date, yeah. and you're having text and it was a really good kisser. back and forth. Yeah, that, you how important is that? It being ends a good with, it, with that. That's really the most important thing. It's being a good kisser. It's the barometer. Um, a guy you've just been dating for a month has told you twice, just a month, he's told you twice that he feels more comfortable around men than he does women. <laughs> Why does it have to be twice? <laughs> <laughs> then you walk into your bedroom one day and he's put on your <laughs> No, he's put on my what? He's put on your jeans. What what does that mean to you? Really? Is that even a question? <laughs> <laughs> to someone, maybe. <laughs> it's happened. Maybe it happened to someone. It happened to someone. Maybe it happened we, to we someone. We all know this person. That <laughs> means that he... Do you think he's gay? Absolutely. The I'm just trying to figure emo- out... This if is where the eggplant so emoji... I just, wanted, yeah. I just wanted to confirm it for yeah. that people, that yeah. person who it happened to. Yes, I he's to gay. Yeah. Why is he in my house right now? Why? Even even though you had sexual intercourse with that Michelle, person, he's still gay. You did I it. Don't, I don't know. You did. Oh, no. Listen. Okay, you go out on Friday, mm-hmm. and um, you text him Saturday morning to tell him that you had a really great time. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good manners. Mm-hmm. Very good manners, by the way. He doesn't respond until Tuesday night at 11 p.m. What, what are you going to do about that? 
What do you do? That he question? doesn't respond. Okay. okay. They went out on Friday. Mm-hmm. Saturday morning, she texts him and says, I had a really great time. And he doesn't respond until Tuesday night at 11 p.m. saying, yeah, it was amazing. Let's do it again. What I do, and it's happened to me. This happens. All the time. I totally revert back to immature bullshit. And I don't text your ass now for another four to five days. You are going to wait. <laughs> you are going to wait now. And then Absolutely. that's what the relationship turns into. That's what it turns ever. into. In the By interim. The way, and then you never get out of that cycle. Ever, ever, and ever. in the interim, though, in that four to five days, my Instagram pics are so sick. My Facebook <laughs> things are so dope. I'm doing the most amazing things with my friends. You're not contacting me. Suddenly, I don't know how to... You know, it's just bullshit. Yeah, I. It's such yeah, bullshit. Yeah, it is silly, it's right? So silly. I do want to say there's a couple. Sometimes there can be <sighs> elements to that. Ridiculous. I personally feel. I think a, t- a response. Uh, he uh, should have waited until Wednesday morning, like a like a. No, a, I I think a, a, and now nowadays respond right back because I know you. Oh, respond your right back. But yes. if he was gonna text Tuesday night at eleven, wait until the morning. Wait until oh, the morning. Oh, God, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, don't, yes, don't yes, res- yes, 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 Don't do that. Yes. I, I used to have feel- guys text me at 1130, 11, uh, at 1230 in the morning, hey, are you up? Yeah. I have two kids. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. I went to bed at nine. <laughs> right. Right. I may be up because now I'm, you know, because yeah, I went to bed at seven. Right. You know? And if I am up at 1230, <laughs> uh, the last person I'm going to yeah. need to talk to is you. At yeah. At 1230. Right? It's amazing. Okay. Okay. This is this is the, the last the one. one. You like a guy and he texts you Monday. Okay. okay. You like him. I like him. A lot. Okay. He texts you Monday and says, hey, let's go out. Okay. He texts you Monday. All right. All right? Mm-hmm. And you respond with, yeah, this weekend seems great. This weekend's open. Yeah. He doesn't respond. Okay. Doesn't respond to that? No, he doesn't. When you say, he says, hey, let's go out, all right? Yeah. On Monday. And you say, yeah, this weekend's great. Right. You really like him. And he now, he doesn't respond to that. And then he texts you on Thursday and says, hey, how's tomorrow? The next day being Friday. How's tomorrow? Are you going to go out with him? I probably would. (laughs) Because we're single moms. Anyone asking me out, I'm like, I don't have to stay home and And listen to freaking vocabulary on the baby fucking first channel. Or or Nina on fucking Sprout. Talk about good night. These are all shows that I've completely blocked out of my oh, mind it's like sometimes i sit there with my kid on my knee and and we're and i'm like what am i doing <laughs> with that red fucking tractor <laughs> that creepy show with the red tractor and nobody speaks but they have the voiceover oh, and people, I hate that oh one. my god it's the creepiest yeah. and fucking jameson is like yeah i'm they like them. i they can't believe i'm i'm doing i'm so fortunate i'm blessed okay oh, yeah, i'm grateful I am um, absolutely no, but absolutely no, and worked my ass off for absolutely. it. But, but yo, yeah, no, you need some adult time, so I probably would. Too. I would just because I don't want to have that blank stare from Dora when she asks you a question. Like that's the most, isn't that the scariest? <laughs> Where she just, do you like blah 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 blah, and then she waits. <laughs> Dora, that's so amazing. She waits and for the little that. children to go. Oh, yeah, I so like it. Yeah. She chooses a possible Listen, serial killer crazy person. You know what, though? <laughs> Over I, I don't Dix judge Ford. us. Don't judge us. Because now, so true. you know what? I bet men talk and go, wow, the single moms are the best ones to date. They'll put up with don't. anything. I bet you they don't. They'll put up with anything. I grew up with I fucking, I'm so rude. I have such dad. bad behavior. So and yo, I that single, single mom, moms. she's She'll ready to go. Whatever. She'll let me do. And, and she's not on me. She's not begging me she for kids. Because she doesn't have time. We're oh, not yeah. begging anyone for kids. No more for the kids. And yeah. also, I like can forget about you for like two, three, four, and you're five okay because you're busy with your kids anyway. I, yeah, the only thing and I'm thinking about you is like finally lights down. Yeah, curtain, <laughs> my curtain, the blanket. I've been so guilty mm. of him, you know, saying like I'm thinking about you, baby, blah blah blah. And I've got the phone like this, and I'm just taking pee. Sheets off of the bed, like me yeah, too, baby, me too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. 
that's I'm not thinking about you until they're fully sleep. I'm fully in, like you know have had like a glass of wow, wine. It's now just, nine. I know. I, yeah. You know. And then he's like, "Hey, I want to come over," and you're like, "Yeah, I just had this realization. <laughs> like, wow, we are the easiest in the world yeah. because you said you said yeah, I probably would. You'd go out on Friday. Yeah. I would too. You mm-hmm. would. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and, I really and, like him. If I was like, mm. no, I really and, and I would chop it up to he didn't respond wow. to me saying this weekend because whatever the reason was. But the fact that he it came around on Thursday, came around on Thursday. It I'm, wasn't Friday morning. No, it wasn't Friday morning. It gave me enough time. <laughs> Thursday gives you enough time to call the sitter and the backup sitter and the backup backup sitter. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's not that it's not like Saturday night. Like, hey, I'm at the blah, blah, blah bar come meet me that's really rude but no uh, that's no i'm not gonna do that no i have my i have my limits yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah i need 24 hours if you tell me 24 hours okay for anything but i mean (laughs) oh my god i love you so much (laughs) oh my god oh my god um thank you for being on the show